I had a similar story as Margaret, I think, uh, where she talked about something that happened in her life. And during that period, she couldn't paint. And that's what happened to me. Um, I started painting very late, actually, when I took slightly early retirement and I decided to do something I really wanted to do, but I didn't. Um, so I took courses at the uh, community college and everything was going okay. Uh, and then my husband had very serious heart problems and eventually was dying and then got a heart transplant. But going through that time, it was a very difficult time. It was a long time because he was in a pretty bad shape by the time he got the heart. So when I was able to come back to art or wanting to do art, I felt I needed some support. I needed a, a workshop of some sort. And I didn't feel like going to a workshop physically so I searched for a workshop online and I just happened to come across Nancy's class and it was her first class. And I very soon became uh, aware of the fact that Nancy's class was very special and that I really hit upon a jewel. What makes her class very different from others is the depth, the spiritual depth. Uh, it's not techniques. I think everybody already mentioned that. Um, it's that. But first of all, she does it in a very sequential manner. Being a psychologist, she understands how we develop as we learn, uh, how we react when we have stress. And all of that is part of this class. But what made it also very important for me was that this class incorporates into it a spiritual journey. Uh, it's an inner growth. It's not only painting pictures, but something happens to you, you grow. Uh, I think somebody said, I think Brittany, that it's something that never stops. And we reach a point where we can accept the fact that it's not painting the perfect picture for a gallery. Um, it's true, we need response, but we can get that response many different ways. But I think the most important thing is the inner depth understanding that art is not just there alone, that art is part of a life in general, and that it's, you know, you, it's connected to physics, to music, and that's where Bruce comes in and ties it all in for us. I mean, it's absolutely wonderful that we can go on this very deep journey. And that's what I really appreciate about Nancy's class. Besides, besides appreciating Nancy as a person, she is the most wonderful, loving person that I've ever met. And I'm so fortunate to have you as my guru and a friend. Oh, Vera, I love you too. <laughs> and Vera is just, you're just this amazing person. Vera is a professor. She's a retired professor of literature and languages at a college level. She's a, she's a total brain. Uh, she's got the biggest heart. And Vera is also one of our guest teachers. Vera got fascinated by minimalism, post-minimalism, moving into simplicity and constraint, the elegant solution, and had a breakthrough there into just this astonishing art. And you talked to us about that recently on a call. You, you are on the calls. You give some lessons to us. Um, and it's amazing. So thank you, Vera. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. 